Arabia and Russia yesterday on that historic deal. On Twitter, he wrote, the move will save hundreds of thousands of energy jobs in the U.S. He said that he spoke with Russian President Vladimir Putin and King Salman from the Oval Office. Great deal. Now, in a separate statement, the White House said that the president actually spoke with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. So we are still seeking some clarity on that. But either way, as you all know very well, the president has been personally involved in these negotiations, not just trying to keep Saudi Arabia and Russia at the table, but also promising to move Mexico along and intervening directly with President Lopez Obrador. We don't want anything to hurt our incredible industry, actually the largest producer in the world now. So we don't want anything to hurt those jobs, those great jobs in Texas and North Dakota and Oklahoma and everywhere. And North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer, along with Alaska Senator Dan Sullivan, led a two-hour phone call over the weekend between Saudi officials and other lawmakers from oil-producing states. After the deal was announced, Senator Kramer wrote on Twitter, we know this fight isn't over. We have to make sure these countries hold up their end of the deal. Deal. We will be watching every step of the way. So, guys, an important victory for the president over the weekend as domestic negotiations over the next installment of coronavirus aid remains unresolved. Un fucking believable. Adam, look at what I got. Is that the new iPhone? This is generated at gas-fired power plants, and right now, natural gas prices, they are sky high. I'm not surprised. It is, it is how things are going in the world today, that everything is going up. And this winter, it's going to get much worse. The national grid, we've never seen. What a fucking creature this fucking evil-looking bitch is, huh? Fucking hell and bird stang, fucking cocksucker prices go up this high. National Grid now preparing customers for electric bills that will be 64% higher this winter because about half of the electricity here is generated using natural gas. When the war broke out, we saw worldwide energy prices just skyrocket. And they've remained high. The utility says a typical electric customer who paid $179 a month for electricity last year would pay $293 a month this winter. Natural gas customers can expect to pay roughly $50 more a month. Everything's going up. You can't go to the grocery store without spending. Look at his smiling rat fuck. Look at him. Fucking public worker. Fucking rat piece of shit. 100 bucks, so um, definitely not looking forward to the gas bill this winter. Eversource natural gas rates are also going up between 25 and 38 percent. Electric rates are also expected to jump, leaving customers hoping for an easy winter. We're hoping that uh, it's not going to be a very cold winter, so we don't have to use as much energy as we had in the past. Yeah, what city or town do you work for, you rat piece of fucking shit? They don't just put anybody on TV. Well, these rate hikes, of course, are going to be tough for a lot of people. The utility companies do have some programs to help some people with some of the costs. Yeah, just raise the fucking supply, you piece of shit. Huh? This fucking rat piece of garbage. Fucking scumbags that make me fucking sick. Remember, they, all they do is cut the fucking oil supply, man. Whacked it. That's all. Before Corona, they fucking killed it. April 2020. Big fucking plan. Bunch of rat motherfuckers. They suck so bad.